What's going on people of YouTube? I'm Steven with Purpose Lens Photo and Media and today I wanna to talk about a subject that has been around for a long time and that is, should you get a camera with dual card slots or should you have two camera bodies? Now, if you're new to photography and videography, this is something that has been going on for years. There's been many battles, discussions, debates, disagreements, whatever you wanna call it when it comes to this topic. On one hand, you have the group of people who say if you're a professional shooter, whether it's you're doing events, weddings, or whatever it may be, you need a camera with dual card slots. Now, what is dual card slots? Dual card slots is one camera body that has a spot to place two cards. That's pretty simple, dual meaning two. So a lot of people say if you don't have these, then you aren't considered professional because a true professional is always going to have backup. They're always going to protect themselves, not only themselves, but they're gonna look out for the client because if in the event that something happens with one card, then you have the other card as backup with all your images there. Now there's another school of people that says, well, you're not a professional unless you have two camera bodies or more. Because if you're in a situation where you're at a wedding or at an event and you drop your camera, water gets on it, whatever it may be, you could pick up a whole nother camera body and you can use that one and not even worry about that other body until later. So now both of these have great arguments in my opinion. I think if you can find a camera that's within your price range that has dual card slots, then great. If you can find a camera that's cheaper that you can afford two of, I think that's a great way to go too. Now, personally, I'm gonna tell you what I would do, but let's go over some of the benefits of both. So starting with dual card slots, one of the benefits of dual card slots is the fact that if you're shooting an event, let's say you're doing photos, you could put your JPEGs on one card, which is your compressed images. These are gonna be smaller in file size and they're gonna be easy to deliver to your client because they're not as big. And in some cases, you may be able to hand that card off to them if that's what you have uh, decided to do in your contract. Now, the other card slot in the same camera, you can have all of your raw files on there. Now, raw files are just files that aren't uh, compressed. They're straight from the camera sensor and it puts it on the card. And these files are gonna be larger in file size and they're gonna give you a lot more range to be able to work with the photos. So having a dual card slot camera allows you that ability to separate your pictures, JPEGs on one card, raw photos on the other. Now, you can also, when it comes to video and photo, let's say you're at an event uh, and you're doing both photo and video. Well, what you can do is you can shoot video to one card and then you can shoot photos to the other and you can specify which card slot you want to be which. Card slot two can be photos and slot one can be video or vice versa. So that is some of the benefits of having a dual card system. So now having two bodies, some of the benefit of having two bodies is you can have one body that's strictly video and then you can have one body that's strictly photo. If you do, or if you have shot video and photo in the same setting with one camera before, you know that switching between the two, switching between photos and video can sometimes take a second, depending on the camera you have. And your settings aren't always going to be the same uh, if you're doing video and photo. So there's gonna be some uh, changes that you may have to make in between when you're flipping from one to the other. And the, benef the benefit of having two camera bodies is that you don't have to change your settings. You literally just pick up one camera, you take your photos, you pick up your other camera, and you shoot video. That is uh, one of the positives of having two camera bodies. Another positive is like we talked about before. Let's say there's a case where you're taking a video and you trip and fall into a fountain. Like there's a video online of a guy that actually did that. If I find it, I'm gonna put it in here. But he fell into a fountain. Now, if you have another backup, you just pull out your whole second body. You don't have to worry about the camera, but if you only have one body, then you're done. So that's one of the benefits of having two bodies as opposed to having one body with two card slots. So let's get into which one should you choose. So I'm gonna start by saying this. So based on what you're shooting, there's many options that you have anyway. 
So if you're gonna be shooting events and things like that, let's say you're doing a video, doing video and you can only afford one camera with one card slot. What I would suggest is maybe renting another body or if you can rent a monitor, uh, a monitor with recording capabilities. Now this is strictly if you're doing video. What this allows you to do is you can have a camera like the Sony a6400 that we're looking at here, record video internally on the SD card while recording video on your monitor as well. So now you have two copies of the same thing right out, right out of the gate, even though you don't have two card slots. Now, the good thing about the a6400 is because it doesn't cost a lot of money, it's not gonna take you a long, long time to buy another body. So you could have two bodies and even have just one monitor on one. Now you have three copies or you have three different things that you can work with here. So if you drop one camera, you could take the monitor and plug it up to the other camera and still have your two recordings off of that. So I think that's one route to go. Now, if you have a little bit more money, then you could go with something like the A7S III. Typically when you're dealing with dual card slots, you're gonna be paying a lot more money for these cameras. And if you have the money, then definitely go for dual card slots and two bodies with dual card slots. That would be the very best. But if you don't have a lot of money, I would recommend going the cheaper route. Now, here's my thing or my argument with the dual card slots. If you have an issue with one of the cards in your camera, more than likely, the issue is gonna be something with the way that the camera is actually writing the file to the card. And if that's the problem, how do I know that's not going to affect the second card as well? It seems like there may be an issue with the camera itself. And for me and my peace of mind, if I'm at a wedding or if I'm at an event shooting and I have an error on one of these cards, the last thing I wanna do is to continue to shoot knowing that there's an issue with this camera. I wanna get rid of this body completely, shoot with something that is trouble free to give me peace of mind while I'm working. Now that's just me. Other people, if that's the way you work, then fine. But I personally, that's the way I like to do. If I, if I know there's a problem with something, I wanna get rid of the whole process, get rid of the whole thing that the problem is attached to. And the only way to do that is to have a whole nother camera body. Now, the other reason why I like having a camera body or two camera bodies on me is I can get different angles of things, right? So I would rather spend a little, uh, instead of spending a lot of money on one big camera, I can spend less money on two or the same amount of money on two cameras that don't cost as much and get good quality out of them. If you're shooting weddings and things like that, the benefit of this is you can set up two cameras. You can have one in the back and then you can have the other to get two angles if it's just you. If you have one camera with dual card slots, that's not gonna help you. You can only control what's coming through that lens. So either what's coming through that lens is either gonna be on card one or two. So that's my opinion on the whole dual card debacle, I guess you can call it. Let me know what you guys think below uh, as far as what you do or what you uh, would feel comfortable with in this situation. But anyway, if these videos have been helpful to you, if they have been something that has made you better, feel free to like, subscribe and share the videos. These videos do take a lot to make and a lot of time, but I appreciate you guys for sitting here and listening to this. Hopefully it was helpful to you. But anyway, until next time, I'll holla at y'all later. I'm out, peace. In my mind, I'm holding on to all the sparks flying through the